let's look at this. Let's look at this. Uh, other universes, right? Universe two. And universe three is what? The mess universe. All separate out. That's nice. Right? Because you can go on any of these universes you want. But the problem with uh, your PC is that you have, they have collapsed universes. Smush. Squish. Guy thinks he's a body. Got lots of memory. That, that's another big problem that the human race has. They have like a, a problem of, of amnesia. Don't know who they are, where they came from, let, let alone where they're going. Sure. That's why they feel stuck. That's why they feel trapped. But well, for you, free beings, you uh, this is a game because you can untrap yourself. wind up like that again. Now if you're like this, are you going to have any problems with the, with the physical universe? <coughs> no, not much. Are you going to have any problems with other beings, you know? No. Not much. Someone enters your space or your, um, your universe, you can say, no, thank you. Get out of my universe. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can share things. Right? You can share dreams. You know, I do that once in a while. We wake up. We're, we're, we're in a dream together. Isn't that neat? <laughs> yeah. Incredible. Incredible. What was that? Somebody told me, uh, came up with that movie the other day. But, uh, what was it? Inception. Inception. How many people have seen that movie? Yeah, when you could like slide in somebody's dream. Yeah, they used a lot of electronics, though, right? In that movie, uh, as a uh, free being, you don't have to be under electronics. Of course, you have to have a tremendous amount of ARC. Right? Otherwise, you're invading. You wouldn't want anybody to invade your your space, do you? Your universe. You wouldn't want to be in my dreams, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, I believe you. <laughs> but strange enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Have to edit that no one talked about <laughs> dream rundown. They should do a dream rundown. Yeah. Dream rundown. I don't think anybody's ever done that. Do it. Do some research on Ron it. Ron wrote very little on dreams. I wrote him a letter. I got a rubber stamp to just fly back. And he said, Oh, I've written about it. It's in the tech box. So it was one right. reference, I think, a volume away. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, <clears throat> where was I? Talking about the arts? Arts. Universes. Yeah. Okay, you have to agree. Uh, how many people done the Ouija board? Remember the Ouija board? I got one. I'm going to bring one out on Halloween. I'm going to see. Uh, Ouija board, uh, yeah, you can tune in to arts and Ouija boards. Definitely. Definitely. These are ascension beings or weight beings. This is not, not stuff that you, you handle in the uh, in other areas like you know, deep tree or notch or something. These are awake beings, powerful beings. Not more powerful than you, to tell you the truth. You, you guys are the most powerful beings around in the universe because you not only are a, um, a, a immortal, you can operate a body. <clears throat> you know, these targets can't operate a body. They try to use your body. Catholics here. Come on. I'm a, I'm a raise a Catholic. Catholic. I was raised a Catholic. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Catholic. What? I'm a recovering Catholic. Recovering. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess in present time or. Bless, yeah. bless your brother. Uh, the Catholics they talk about angels and help, uh, spiritual helpers, saints. They, you can call these things. You know, um, witchcraft. What? What? What's? What's? Anybody study witchcraft here? Besides L R H and me. Yeah, you, you can call these things, you know, and they'll show up. <laughs> but I don't advise it. Don't, don't advise it. All right. <clears throat> so 
back to my notes. Okay, so we find ourselves in a uh, kind of a three-pronged thing here. Your universe, others, the physical universe. And uh, what, what has occurred here is the, um, the stars, these uh, int data, we call them int data too, <laughs> entities. Uh, well, there's a war going on with them and us. Because we're creative beings. They're the destroyers. They want to unmock the game. I mean, we're busy trying, here we are, operating the body, trying to uh, maybe run a business, <laughs> make some money, become popular, do something, play some games here. I don't know about you, but when I arrived in this universe, it was already here. It was already going on. You know? And, uh, and these are the things I find that are in that uh, are in uh, Scientology. And um, you know, there's other types of life forms besides us, like trees. It's a different life form. It's alive. And if you're really good, you might be able to communicate with it a little bit. Uh, insects. Animals. I got a dog named Rango. I named him Rango because, uh, you know, we're in Nevada. You know, I thought, you know, Rango. <laughs> Sometimes he looks at me like, who's this guy? <laughs> Doesn't belong here at all. He's right. That's I think that's extra dimensional. Yeah, I'm extra dimensional. He's like going. He, I mean, he understands the rabbit he's trying to get, and the rabbit understands him. You know, he's. You know, and he understands uh, what's going on. I, I, uh, I was going to light a little bonfire, right? And, and I'll, I'll tell you, a cognition I had. And uh, so I, I was outside of that little fire. He saw the fire and just took off. Yeah, I'm going. Why is he afraid of fire? I never burned a guy. You know, I never did anything. You know, I mean, why is he afraid of fire? I had a cognition about this, and I'll share it with you. See, you know, you, you talk scientists, they'll say, oh, it's instinct. Well, where do you get the instinct? Animals. That dog was not implanted with amnesia. He knows, in former lives, what that fire does. I pulled out a knife one time to do something, and he saw that knife and took off. <laughs> We're the ones that got to get rid of the amnesia. These dogs know what's going on. They got total recall. Yeah, try it. How many here have a dog? Oh, come on, I know a dog lovers. A cat, cat lovers? Yeah. Cat do the same thing. Oh yeah. Cat's not stupid. Yeah, was not done. You know, we, we, you know, you got the Christian thing, you know, that, uh, oh, the, the God put here and all the animals are, you know, in your domain, you do what you want with them. You know, you are the higher form. No, they're here before us. Don't tell that to our cats. <laughs> I, I, I think of our Buddhist viewpoint, you know, like, they're all sacred. I mean, they're all like, we're here with them, they're with us. I'm not better than them, they're not better than me. All right. <clears throat> Tend to go off today. All right. To make the world a better place, you have to look at the world you live in. And that's all three worlds. Not only the physical world, the spiritual world, and the mental world that's being pushed at you with politics and lies. All right. <clears throat> I'm almost done, guys. How do you spot these uh, people who might be influenced by the in theta beings or the TARs? 
how would you spot somebody like that? We talked about PTSness, right? Yeah, somebody who's PTS is definitely highly influenced by these guys, or could be. Now, this is why ethics works, right? So say somebody's in a lower condition, what is it, uh, treason? What's the formula for treason? Find out that you are. Find out that you are? Yes. Does everybody agree on that? Yeah. Yep. Now, now, you, now that you got the information about cars, say that again. Find out? That you are influenced by the cars. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. That you are. That you're not that. Right. Okay. See? And then the next one is what? Find out who you really are, right? Yeah. Right? So what, what is Hubbard trying to get you to do? Is to find out, that, is to center yourself and find out who you are. Because you're, you're, you're uh, basically good. You're not these other guys. You're not some valence. You're not some past life guy or uh, a tar. You are you. Basically good. See? So at that point, you quit being suppressive. See how that works? It's, it's, almost a, it's almost a power process. You know that? It's all, it works like a power process without processing. You know, this ethics thing. You know, it centers the guy. Find out who you really are. Well, I'm me. I'm not uh, trying to burn down the org. What, what was I doing? That's not me. You follow? So if you know these, um, uh, this, this, this information here, then you start looking at the tech in a, in a totally different way, in a higher way, and why it works. The upper had the viewpoint of quite a ways up and down as us humans and it in a you know, sort of way and putting this technology together. How could we find somebody who's being suppressive without trying to audit out TARS, you know? How could we uh, handle this guy? We ask him those questions. Find out who you really are. And the guy snaps about uh, being suppressive. So he's I teach autistic kids over the summer and I just spend something good. And I had this one cow that was giving me a tremendously hard time. I, I mean, I thought I was going to have to have her taken away. That's how she was, right? So one day I just asked her, right? And I, I just said to her, is that who you really are? Is that this is the person you really want to be, right? And she went silent. I never had a bit of trouble with her. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> 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 Now, if you're basically good, the state of being has come to this realm. <laughs> What's all this other stuff? Say, it's case stuff, right? Case stuff. All right. <clears throat> Any questions? You imagine everybody here handling their fourth dimensional beings. <laughs> and really operating that statement. Uh, see, when you try to go exterior, you run into these guys sometimes. That's going to be seen in your dreams, or they'll come in in your dreams and give you a nightmare or something like that. Um, if you're able, uh, once you start trying to exercise your OT abilities, you might run into these guys. That's what I'm trying to do. Uh, these guys should be. So you want to know how to audit these guys out and how to handle these guys? Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Sure. OK, so that was my problem. OK, I got this tape, got this information. What do I do with it? What do I do with it? It's like, OK, well, all religions talk about these guys. Um, I'm just going to. You know, if I start talking about it, then uh, people are going to say you're type three or something. Uh, the guy goes in the door. I had actually had a lady come to me, and she says, um, you know, I'm not a Scientologist. And she looks around, and she goes, uh, well, they're talking to me. I said, who's talking to you? If she said that in the or, she would be considered type three, right? Mm -hmm. So I got her on a meter, and sure enough, there was like three or four of these characters talking to her. You could do this at any point in the bridge. It's an assist. 
send it to the SIS and it helps you. Um, and uh, so we handled them. They're gone. It felt fantastic as you went on in our life. Uh, but handled them how? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> now there's this. Uh, yeah, that, that's that was a big question I had because I had like uh, I had like tools. You know, I've been trained to class 12. I had tools like knots. You know, and how the OT3 tools and review tools I learned over at the Vance Org when I was working there, and um, I started handling it that way. But it wasn't. It wasn't good enough. Has anybody ever seen that uh, technology that? Hubbard had a, um, he ever got very, very, very uh, great with his technique. But he didn't tell why. But he said, all right, this is what you do. You sit uh, in front of a mirror, stare at the mirror. And it's like TR0 on the mirror. You've done that? Did anybody else hear that or read that? I'm trying to find out where I, where I got this. I just discovered it, and I did it on a mirror at my roommate. Do you know where to find that? That's, that's a Rosicrucian technique. Rosicrucian technique. Yeah. <laughs> they, they know about this stuff. Yeah, don't Rosicrucians. And who else at the other group? Uh, uh, oh, his name. He was in Scientology. He left Scientology and he created this whole thing yes. about masters. Yes. Where, where are you? There's no Gerhardt? No. Gerhard. No. no. Okay, all right. Yeah. About masters and uh, ascended masters and all that stuff. Eckenkar. Eckenkar. He knew about this stuff too. He was like, but anyway, so he had the ever had this technique of you uh, sit in front of a mirror. I wouldn't suggest it. He has this technique: sit in front of a mirror, and you uh, do TR zero in front of a mirror. What happened when you did it? I saw changes. I saw little energy, like auras around me, and then it started to vibrate. And, it, and I would go with the vibration, and then and Walt had me on an e-meter, and he said he could see it. And when the thing did this, the thing blew off on the meter. So he got a confirmation of it. So we do have a I felt like successful I got speech tech here, right? I, I felt like I got rid of some shells around me. Yeah, you got, well, I'll tell you what, you got rid of some more than that. Okay. <laughs> because uh, what we did was like, all right, what we did, uh, we're, we're going, what we did was we uh, used some of that technique. We got a mirror. <laughs> I, I found this, I found this thing one day, you know, I was getting an audience by class nine down over in Europe, and uh, all of a sudden this like thing opened up and it was like all these beings there, and I was like, what the? <laughs> and uh, and uh, so like yeah, it was real to me, you know, that there are spiritual beings and stuff like that. There's other games going on. And uh, but then I went into a, uh, I did session. I had a floating tone arm, and uh, uh, I was going to go get something to eat. So as I, my mom taught me to wash my hands before I get something to eat, and uh, so I did. And uh, then I looked up in the mirror. You know, somebody looking at. Me. It wasn't me. See, I pulled somebody in, you know, from this other universe, right? And uh, <clears throat> so, what I did, I got rid of that. <laughs> um, what I did was recognize it, and uh, the being blue just went away, and I felt even better, more clear. So what we did was um, we we brought uh, some people in. First, I did it on myself. Don't try this. <laughs> I got the mirror, got the meter, stole a meter. This is all blasphemy, right, for the guys who are training class 12. You don't do this. Anyway, so I got the meter, the, the mirror, and I got on the meter, and uh, I started look, you know, doing TR zero, and sure enough, there they were. They were looking right at me, in my body to perceive. Enjoy the food I eat. Maybe even the soup, maybe even the SES, right? <laughs> so, I looked at these guys. They've been hiding there all along, totally awake. Some helping me, some causing me problems. I noticed a lot of few.